百卷情，千般缘，色与空，弹指间，轮回路，游万次千，求不得，闭上眼，一生功名。口中念，心中念，现实报，却方便。修行路，无边际，翻动时，莫等闲。Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinche still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya, how shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind, your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries, yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one kasaya. Centuries of devotion, undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic! In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face eighty-one trials throughout his journey, 
The fire for that Kasaya was merely the eleventh. Which deities do most abound upon the earth? The keepers, surely. Though humble in rank, nothing in the mortal world escapes their eyes. You'd be wise not to spurn their kind, for who knows what powers stand behind them. A fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band.